Okay. Shield water. Alright. Seems decent enough. Kind of want to build a bandit deck as well. What's like the best faction for bandits? What ha Ooh, which which deck has the best bonded units? That's also a good idea. Figuring out who has the best bonded unit and then based off that, figuring out the rest. Okay. Shield the water. Oh, why am I playing necromancy in this deck? A lot of this deck actually was built around the Atta combo, which is kind of funny. Alright, uh, Muta Generator. What are we kicking? I guess we're kicking the Necromancy. Oh, we also have a Temple, but we didn't draw it. Uh, do I want Temple as well? Actually, no. I'd rather have the Muta Generator. I think I open with this. See what's up. Hey, this doesn't help us at all because we shuffle the deck anyway. I don't know why I did that. Alright, uh... Mm, see you later. I guess I could have played it. Nah, I mean, it's fine, actually. It is fine, actually. Because I need to play these ranged row anyway. I guess I could have played her back row. Probably should have played her back row. Alright, this is quite slow. But... So be it! I can't believe this card actually was is really good. Literally zero points on the ploy. But I guess none of the realms is able to compensate for that, I guess. How many how many nine provision cards do I have in this deck? I don't think I have any. So we'll just play in front row, make him bigger. Okay. Ridiculous, isn't it? I play my low provisions first, and then play the dandelion. I think. I mean, like play this and then dandelion. I think these are good to play early on. Okay. Look. That's that's a lot of provisions just to kill a four four. That doesn't actually do that much. Huh. I can kind of see why a mute generator is a bit bit of a good card. Eh? That's a bit rude. So what are you boosting up at this point? Pavetta? Sure. Huh. Interesting. are some big dudes. Okay. <clears throat> That's a lot of carryover. <laughs> that is a lot of carryover. Wow. Okay. These are big, 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 big boys now. So what does this do now? This 
Now it does show an ally dude back. Okay. We need to get rid of this card, I guess. Okay, nice, nice, nice. We have the combo. We have our mighty combo, but we don't actually have that many revenants in our graveyard. So that's a bit awkward. Oh, we have like three. Eh. Would have liked to, you know, play these out a bit earlier with the Draug on top, but that's fine. All right, the thing I want to build, I, I probably will abandon this deck. This deck seems kind of mid. It's kind of cute, but it's very draw dependent for round one. And I also kind of like built it around some other stuff. Which didn't work out in the end, I guess. If he's a siege deck. We do have heat wave, to be fair. We do have heat wave, nice. Good, good, good. No Draug in this hand. That's okay. We can shuffle for him. I think I actually get rid of the agent. Since that is a good Erland boost to the unit. I mean... That's annoying. I can get... I can get Igni though. Do I heatwave this? I mean, fudge. This has to get heatwaved. I guess I could have also m templed. No, I have to. I have to. I have to do the first thing first. Okay. God, this is complicated. That's fine. That that, that that I don't care about. That one is a okay. Uh, now I need to think. How I'm gonna do this best? What is the right sequence here? I think I do want to get this. I think I do want to shuffle you. I think I do want to do this as well. Commandos. I can't do this, then, gentlemen. Eh. With pleasure. All right. Hopefully, he greets this. Could also be a nice Igni, actually. I think that's what I want to do. No, I'm okay just turning these into revenants. I don't. Th I think at this point, getting back the dandelion seems aight. Okay, so I, the sequence here is a Draug now, right? How can I help? I'll piss off. Ugh. Ask me for help. Freaking 
last three. So we go, we, I think we have to just go Pavetta now. Put back two of these, I guess. Three of these. Which obviously isn't fantastic. Weird deck. Okay, that's but that's one of the random cards he put back, so that's fine, I guess. You will stop, please. That's an Igni target as well. I mean, Igni is just solid, right? Igni is just a good card in in the meta in general. Alright, sure, whatever. That doesn't really matter to me. So now we do this, get the Igni, put back the Iris, and now we got a BIG Erland, which we will play next turn. Rude. What a weird deck, huh? How big is this Erland? And oh my god, this Erland's gonna be big. This is like a 50 point Erland, I think. Almost. And what you got? Okay. It's whatever. Uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna click anything. I need to do this first. And then I can click. Holy moly! That's a big boy. He could have Igni as well, though. His deck seems like a deck that plays Igni. Ah! <laughs> ah, yes. The 48 point Erland. So, how is Gwenfinity gonna work? There's not gonna be reworks, I think. There's just gonna be like two people in the office checking in. And then there's suggestions from the community, and that's it, I think. That's okay. Oh, that's actually good. Okay. Um. I'm not gonna greet this. It's no point. But I can tutor for. Oh, this is actually. Okay, that's really interesting. Okay. I don't need him now, though, do I? I've, I've, I've plenty of tutors at this point. So, I think I start off with this. Sure, get me a Meave. Sure, get me a Salty. Raxide, I guess. Then I think I want to tutor for Muta Generator. And I will get rid of one of these, I think. Sure. I guess I should have done this before. Um. Don't mind getting Dandelion here. Don't mind getting rid of Dandelion here. <laughs> okay. I guess I could have got... I should probably get rid of the... Actually, no. I can I can boost up the Revenant. I think that's still fine. I should have probably gotten Draug, actually, now that I think... Actually, no. I can still get him with the... Nah, I think I get Draug now. I think I need to play for the win. And I'll get rid of a Revenant, I think. This is a bit greedy. But I didn't draw that optimally as well, so... Get rid of the Revenant here. Start playing for this. Whatever units. Okay. These are zero provisions, okay. Okay. 
whole lot of mob shit. 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 Each allied unit. Okay. So now Drog hits the board. That's where we're gonna start having some fun. I got you like fishes. Okay, sure. Alright. Nice animation. Alright, can we uh there you go, nice. I love the synchro. I love when they're synchronized. It seems pretty bad. It's so badass when they're synchronized. You can just pass here. Okay, he doesn't pass. That's good for me. So, boom, 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 six, four, seven for four. Not bad. Okay, I'm very happy with this. Look at all this carryover, bro. And we I think we have a lot of good revenants here. So looking solid. But we do need to draw our stuff here, to be fair. That's a heat wave, that's okay. That deals with is big boy. Uh this card is gonna be quite useless here, I think. So is this. The question is, do I pass here? Can I beat him if I pass here? I'm missing my combo. I'm missing Erland. Oh, wait, no. Am I, no, I'm missing Erland, yes. But I can tutor for Erland. Never pass 2-0. I can actually do that. Yeah, you know what? I actually can try and pull off the combo this round. You're actually correct. That is true. I can actually pull off the combo right now this, this round. So maybe I just have to try it. Maybe I do just actually have to try it. Okay, that's fine. I think it's going to be quite hard for him to kill Meave. <laughs> If he had to go that far to kill that dude. What do we have here? Nilf God Florence, eh? I think I yeah, you're you're correct. I think I have to pull off the combo now. Sure. Alright. Me! But what do I get rid of? I got wait, I get rid of Iris. What am I saying? So Pavetta, discard Iris. Oh, Jesus. Alright, well. Seems fun. This is gonna be quite a big lad. Yeah, I think this is just a big immune dude. Sadly I can't heat wave solve. That's really annoying actually. Okay, that's a that's a bunch of big boys here. I'm curious how big this Erland is going to be. I'm actually very curious how big this Erland is going to be. This is good. This is going to be a chunky lad, isn't it? A 
Holy moly. Okay, let's count. One, two. Wait, these are all two now. Oh my god. How many points do you guys... I think this is going to be like 70 or 60 points. Genuinely think this is going to be like 70 or 60 points. It's gonna be big, that's for sure. It's gonna take him a lot of resources to get rid of. Okay. Well, let's see it. Boom! 70 points, immune. What are you gonna do against it? That's a big Erland. All right, now he, now he's, now he needs to, now he needs to put up some, some pressure here. Gonna have to start playing that solve, don't ya? I can still do this, honestly. Like he's gonna be, he's gonna have like forty points here. I mean, the next card, d d if he doesn't have solve, obviously, like he loses. But yeah, that is solve. Okay. Oh, it's just a four. Okay, 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 okay. We have a chance. We have. He needs thirty points here. He does need thirty points here. That's not enough. <laughs> One big old Witcher versus an entire army of Skellige Warriors. Who could possibly win?